when it was time to do it, I can backflip. But when it's time to do it, I was like, mm -mm, I would hurt myself right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's good to have stunt doubles or several of them, you know? Bushmaster, what makes him so scary? We hope you never have to find out. Mustafa, are you ready for the Marvel fans? Like, you're a huge part of Luke Cage season two. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, because I haven't experienced it, but um, yeah, I probably can. Prepare that. yourself. Prepare myself. Yeah, That's every Comic-Con after this is going to be different. It's going down? Yeah. All right, <laughs> cool. How does it feel to be part of the Marvel Wiki now? Um, it's super cold, kind of surreal, you know? Because I used to like watch all the Marvel Universe um, anthology magazines, so it's like the same thing, but digitized. So like, I can imagine thumbing through there and seeing myself, and we just like, And some kids, kid. like, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, super cool. <laughs> it sounds like you were a pretty big comic book fan growing up, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so what did you know about Bushmaster before you got the role? Um, I only knew a little bit about Bushmaster, to be, to be quite honest. Like, uh, Luke Cage it was on the radar, but I was like a big Spider-Man and like Alpha Flight was everything for me. So, like, I knew a little bit about him. When I heard about it, I thought it was like Quincy, you know, the, yeah. the dude with the mechanical tail. And I yeah. was like, hmm, how's that gonna go over in Harlem? Yeah, yeah. a tail on a black man in the <laughs> probably would not go down nah. well. <laughs> nah, yeah. I actually said that to Cheo. I'm like, please don't let this be his brother with the tail. He's like, no. No, like that's a hard one. <laughs> now, what was your favorite comic book character in Alpha Flight? Um, the twins. Really? Yeah. Wow, why? Was it their powers? Or just yeah, I just like twins? that. Yeah, yeah, I always wanted a twin, you know what I mean? Somebody who I could just like do everything with and sort of knew the ins and outs of me, and that was cool. I have twin brothers. It's overrated. Really? <laughs> it's probably because I'm the only girl. Yeah, you're jealous. That's what it really is. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. No. <laughs> they're not fun because they're little brothers. They're not fun. Oh, yeah, twin little brothers. It's like yes. having puppies or something. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm calling them that. <laughs> I ain't starting nothing. Now, Bushmaster in the comics was from the Caribbean, but in Luke Cage season two, they made him Jamaican. Yeah. Now, you sounded, your accent, your patois sounded real. Alem is mine. Are you from Jamaica? Do you have family No, from not from Jamaica. I'm like, wow. I got Nigerian roots and my mom is from the South. But you know, it's New York and I grew up around a lot of, you know, Jamaicans, Islanders, St. Kitts, all of the, you know, the Caribbean, so I just took it in, you know, I'm a, I'm a sponge. Did you talk to other people and try to, uh, that are from the island, to try and practice on certain words and certain... I mean, I think the most I did was like listen to a bunch of like uh, interviews, uh, like with Usain Bolt, and I watched uh, The Harder They Come like a thousand times, <laughs> maybe a thousand five, you know, like, you know, it was a few. Um, but yeah, that was it. It was that and my experience is just soaking it up. And it's one of the accents that I, I, like, I practiced my whole life. Like, you know, it was just always there to play around with. You know, I was that kind of kid. How did you physically prepare for the role? Because even looking at you now, I feel like your face embodied, like every part of you embodied this character. Your face even looks different than Bushmaster's face. Yeah, yeah, it's what um, someone told me is like, that, it must be cool to just like fully step into a character that way. I, you know, physically, I just took in as much information as possible and allow the truth of his story to come out. You know, I, I, I channel Bushmaster is, is, is the best way to say it. I didn't do a bunch of like, he's gonna do this and that, like not specificity, just information, feelings, impressions, and then whatever came out, came out. Did Cheo give you offense? Did Cheo give you like, don't go too far this way or that way? Or did he just let you go? He let me go. It was like, it was after like the fourth take on the first episode. He was like, that thing you did right at the end, keep that. And I was like, all right, nice. you know, and it was a feeling. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, is Bushmaster really a bad guy? I don't think so. Why? Well, first off, you can't judge your characters. You know, that's, that's, that's rule number one as an actor. But I feel like all his, his, his motivations are noble. You know, you have to ask yourself, if you put in that same situation and those things happen to you, what would you do, you know? And those are some big life events to like just swallow and go about your day, you know? So I think like overall, he wants the best. Like. He's looking out for his people, is what he's thinking, you mm -hmm. know, and it's just an overzealous way of doing so. Now, you live in Harlem. Mm -hmm. So what was it like shooting 
a project in Harlem. Like super cool, like the best <laughs> homecoming ever, you know? You didn't have a big long commute, I'm assuming. Mm, well, sometimes, because you know, the stages are in Brooklyn, but yeah. yeah, you know, I had the luxury of walking to set a couple days. Yeah. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, now, we interviewed Cheo and he said, he praised your physical work. In fact, in the trailer and in a few scenes, I couldn't tell the difference between you and your stunt double. Now, do you know Capoeira? Um, I've done some Capoeira. Um, you know, not like, I haven't mastered it by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I'm a real physical dude. I like to move every so, day. So that backflip was you in the trailer? No, that would be dangerous. That, and we did that at like one in the morning. I'm like, nah, when it was time to do, I can backflip, but when it's time to do it, I was like, mm -mm, I would hurt myself right now, you know what I mean? So it's good to have stunt doubles or several of them, you know? Oh, did you have several? We have a couple. Okay. A couple, yeah. Now, that means there was some training involved. Yeah. So what was that training? Was it, was it a months and months of training? Did you just train yourself? Or did like Marvel, Netflix have you train for this role? Well, we like, we had like dance class, you know, like you go and learn the choreography of the, of, of the scene or whatever, and you do it. But I would take it home and just run it through, run it through the paces so I can get it in my body, muscle memory, and that sort of thing, yeah. So awesome. it was not that much training, to be quite honest. I just had to go home, look at the videos, and just, you know, shadow box mostly. But you, but you didn't just shadowbox this role. You, you personally are also keep fit on your own. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 so yeah. So <laughs> totally. like not all I did was shadowbox. I know, just with, with the, in, in terms of like the choreography. <laughs> no, on my, my own personal thing. Yeah, I get, I get it in. Okay. I get it in, yeah. John, I feel, is the killmonger of Luke Cage season two. Now, mm. I get that he's protecting his people, but he has a lot of anger. Some of that anger is justified and the shades of it. How did you work through those emotions? Like you, you, have to, you have to think about your character as being completely right. And in that, you, you stop judging. And in, when you stop that judgment, it's just like a, 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 a regular conversation with anybody, like there's varying levels. I'm gonna talk to this person differently than that person. I'm gonna be more angry with this person than that person, it all depends. But yeah, it's just coming from a headspace. You know, and like, it's hard to explain. It's an internal process, really, about allowing and reflecting. Dorian Missick, uh -oh. who uh, <laughs> is in this season, Simone Missick's um, husband, asked me to ask you. Apparently, on YouTube, you are seen giving some poetry and some singing. Oh, yeah. Do you have any poetry for Luke Cage? Do you have any raps you came up with for Luke Cage? I didn't come up with any for Luke Cage. They didn't ask me, but um, you know, if they <laughs> ask me, I'll do it today, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, that's another story. <laughs>